Hello, this is Don with MechSoft Support. In this quick video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create bridges and tabs using uh, Visual Cam 2016 for SolidWorks. Now, as you can see, I have a part uh, open in SolidWorks. I have the Visual Cam 2016 plugin uh, loaded. I have the machining browser uh, displayed on the left and the, and the machining objects browser displayed over here below it and we have uh, a part already set up we have the machine the post the stock already defined we have a setup defined and we have a work zero defined here so what we're going to do is we're going to create a two and a half axis profiling operations and we're going to automatically create uh, bridges that will uh, allow the part material to stay attached to the remaining stock material. And this can be useful uh, if you have multiple parts on a sheet and you don't want the parts to uh, fly out of the, off of the bed or get tangled up. And you can leave uh, bridges connecting the part with the stock material and you can do that uh, automatically. And you can also do it manually, but in this video we're going to show you how to do it uh, automatically. So we'll go ahead and uh, select the work zero. And then we're going to go ahead and create a two and a half axis profiling operation. For the control geometry, we want to machine the outer profile of this part. So we'll pick the select curve edge region button, select an edge and right click on it, and we'll select a loop. To move it to the outer perimeter loop, and that's what we want, pick OK and our face edges are already selected and displayed in the control geometry tab so we'll move on to our tool tab we have a, a one quarter inch flat mill uh, already defined we'll use that we'll use the default beads and speeds the default clearance plane now for the cut parameters set the stock to zero this means that we're not going to leave any stock on the part uh, on the sidewalls of the part at the end of our profiling operation. We'll set the cut direction to mixed. With the cut start side, we'll go ahead and pick the uh, use inside outside for closed curve. You can do that and select outside or you can go and use the determine using 3D model and visual cam will uh, determine uh, which uh, side of the model is stock and which side is part and that's uh, the side it'll cut. Also, you can set a cutting width and you can set uh, the step over width. In this particular part, we're just going to make one pass uh, at zero width, so we'll leave that set to zero. For cut levels, go ahead and set the location of cut geometry to at bottom. That's where the location of the control geometry is that we selected. So it's at the bottom of the part, so we set it to at bottom. For a total cut depth, We'll go ahead and pick the um, button here and we'll select the top of the part and an edge on the bottom of the part and it'll figure out the total cut depth and for this part it'll be a half an inch and we'll set that at two passes at a quarter of an inch each. Then we'll move over to the uh, entry and exit tab. We'll just use lines and arcs for entry and exit motions. Now on the advanced cut parameters tab We'll go ahead and perform arc fitting and we'll set the arc fitting tolerance to 0.002. This should be slightly larger than your uh, global tolerance here. And then here is where you create your bridges and tab. So we're going to create, uh, you can create triangular tabs or rectangular tabs. So we're going to pick rectangular and we're going to have a total of four tabs around the part and it's going to place them uh, automatically. For the bridge height, let's set this to uh, 125, so an eighth of an inch tall, quarter of an inch wide. So that's how wide and tall our bridges are going to be uh, on the part. Let's go ahead and pick Generate. If you don't see your toolpath, just select the toolpath visibility icon and you can see one of the tabs here uh, that's created. Let's go ahead and simulate this so we can see it a little bit better. Let 
rotating the part up, you can see that we have four tabs here, here, over here, and over here. Now, in the two, during the two and a half axis profiling operation, what we just did was we created the tabs automatically and it randomly placed them in four locations on the part. If you want more precise control over where these bridges are located on your part, you can use the regions tab to create a predefined machining region and then define your bridge points uh, on your region and then use that to control your two and a half axis profiling operation. Well, that's it for now. If you need any more help, you can visit us on the web at www.mexsoft.com. Thank you.